Hey, it's Jack Duncan here from marketingtip.org, and I want to show you a very, very simple way, a very simple thing you can do to find the best Google keywords. And these are keywords that you can often rank for very quickly that also have a lot of traffic. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is this little piece of code right here. And I believe you can see this on your screen just fine. If you need um, to just, if you just want to copy and paste this, just look at the URL down here below the video. You can go to that URL and I'll actually have it so you can just copy and paste it uh, from that section right into um, the Google keyword query box here. The next thing you want to do is you want to actually put your topic. So in this case, we're going to use the word date. Now, it often works if you use very broad terms uh, for this. So we put our topic in and we have this string here that we placed in a Google. And when we click Google search, what's actually going to happen is we are actually looking at articles that have gotten thousands of views since uh, really since 2009, some of them early 2009 some of them later 2009 and what we're looking for because article sites frequently people don't do any type of linking they simply just put their article on the article directory and that's it and so basically if the article ranks well it's ranking based on just its content but we can do so much more than that we can set up domain names we can do linking we can put up better content there's a lot of things we can do so this is a great way to find some powerful keywords so let's take a look right here at this one I've selected this seven questions to ask a girl on the first date. If we click on that, it'll open up in a new uh, window here. And if you look at the bottom here, this this was submitted. It's been about a year now, but it's been seen 61,110 times. Not bad for an article that simply somebody simply just posted. But the thing is, we want to harvest the keywords behind the article. So we want to know what are the easy keywords to rank for that are pushing, uh, pushing the traffic to this article. So what we need to do at this point is we're going to actually copy the URL from the address bar. Now you won't be able to see this on the video because it's above the screen, but we're basically just going to copy the HTTP slash slash easingarticles.com slash and the rest of that. And when we copy that, we're going to open up a, a place called SEM Rush. And I'm sure some of you watching this are probably familiar with this. You may not have actually used this technique, but I'm going to go ahead and open up that now. So you can see what we've done here is this is that URL right here. We've pasted it into SEM Rush. You'll notice the URL radio button is selected and we've clicked search. Now, if you click the URL radio button and you click search and you don't get anything back, you may want to try clicking the domain radio button and try it again. Sometimes you have to do this two or three times and then eventually you get the data. Now, what we're looking at here with this free side of SEM Rush, we're actually looking at the keywords the position the keyword is organically <clears throat> in the organic rankings and the volume which is the estimate amount of searches now this is not going to be extremely accurate but it is going to be proportional so uh, the ones 10,950 is going to have more searches than this one here with 739 and really it's hard to tell with any of these tools because there's more than just Google that drives traffic um, and Google is not always extremely accurate in letting us know the exact numbers but what we have now is we have a map basically these are some killer keywords Let's take this first one here, questions to ask a girl. Now at the time that SEM Rush scanned for the site, it was in position 14, but notice it's got about 10,950 as the volume. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the Google AdWords keyword tool and we're going to get a more current figure for that volume number and kind of look things over. So here is the Google AdWords keyword tool and you'll notice that I put in the query here questions to ask a girl and we'll see that it's right here and I've got the exact match type selected so we're just seeing the exact matches and for the global monthly search volume uh, there for an, an as an average there's 18,100 searches per month there's pretty heavy competition data so there's a good chance um, that as far as advertisers are concerned there's a good chance this is a, a keyword that that people are fighting over it's in it's in the data dating um, niche so there's some good possibilities here for this now the great thing about this is we now know that this questions to ask a girl is driving traffic to an article we are we can research further if the article has been linked to but the odds are almost always and as many times as I've done this you very very rarely find people do much more than simply maybe a few social bookmarking links that's it but they basically write the article they paste it to the article directory and then basically just based on the content 
and it ranks well, which is why this is such an effective method for finding great keywords. And you'll find hundreds of keywords this way. Now we take this questions to ask a girl. Let's go ahead and pull up Google and let's type that in questions to ask a girl. And when we click Google search, we're going to look down through here. And so it's not on page one at the moment. Let's look on page two. And here it is right here. Questions, seven questions to ask a girl on her first date. So right now it's on page two. It's at the bottom of page two. But here's the thing. These rankings will change over time. There was a time, I'm sure, that this was in a very high position, maybe on page one, maybe even position one. It slowly trickled down the rankings, but that doesn't mean anything for us because we know that if this article was in pos in a higher position so that it was getting that, that amount of traffic from that search term, then we have a very good indication that this keyword here, questions to ask a girl, is going to be something we can easily rank for with either a domain or our own um, content. So this is really a powerful, powerful way, and it's very, very simple. You simply put in the code, and again, if you want to just copy and paste that code, um, just go to the website, go to the URL below, and you can go straight to the specific post, and you can just copy that entire query into the Google box, put your topic in front, take that information, navigate navigate to SEMrush, put that in there, and you can move on. And what you're going to find is hundreds and hundreds of great keywords that you can use in your marketing to drive traffic to your site that have very low competition. And a lot of people wouldn't suspect if you looked at those keywords that they might be good keywords. But this is just one way that we can kind of look underneath the surface and find great low competition keywords that will drive traffic to our site very, very quickly.